Uh, welcome, everyone. Thank you for coming in. Um, I'm Sumit Thakur. I'm a senior product manager for Amazon SageMaker. At Amazon, I am involved in building products and services like SageMaker and the Deep Learning AMI, which helps our customers get quickly and easily started with deep learning and machine learning on cloud. So, so in the next one hour or so, what I hope to share with you is why machine learning has become so important for enterprises to reinvent their customer experiences and to gain long-term competitive advantage. But in doing so, what are some of the unique challenges that enterprises face when they deploy machine learning at scale? I'm also happy to share how Amazon SageMaker has been addressing some of those challenges. I think a good place to start would be to ask this question, why machine learning? So over the last decade or so, machine learning has been used to solve some of the really challenging computer science problems. These problems typically require taking advantage of data and information accumulated over a course of time to adjust responses and detect patterns. Typical examples would be using models to detect objects, entities, activities, individuals from images and videos. Another example, in languages and speech domain would be to transcribe huge volumes of audio into text, translate text from one language to the other, and even use techniques such as natural language processing to understand customer sentiments, entities, phrases, words, and meanings from text. And it's not just that. There are some general purpose programming problems and logical reasoning problems that have been solved using machine learning over the last decade, including making personalized recommendations, detecting anomalies, and making forecasts. So there is huge value which can be driven out of machine learning. But there are some unique challenges when it comes down to adopting machine learning in the enterprises at scale. One of the first challenges that we most frequently hear about from our customers is about the lack of expertise in this specialized domain. And this just does not apply only to data scientists, but even extends to other individuals who are participants in getting a machine learning solution out of the door, including product managers, marketing, legal, compliance, and the list goes on. Some of the recent studies have suggested that there is going to be an acute shortage of data scientists over the next few years. And that kind of speaks to the volume of this problem. The second problem is somewhat related to the first. When you have a shortage of expertise, you tend to concentrate whatever expertise you have in your organization into a centralized group called as the center of expertise. For example, organizations tend to create these centralized data science teams in order to efficiently use them to solve problems across the organization. But in doing so, you might end up creating an isolated silo of data scientists who are disconnected from the rest of the enterprise, especially DevOps, which can become a serious impediment when it comes down to pushing machine learning solutions into production. The third challenge comes from the fact that machine learning is now being used today to drive new customer experiences and gain comparative advantage. And in order to do so, you need to realize that value quickly, and you need to iterate faster. But by the nature of this, machine learning is an iterative process. You have to go through multiple hundreds and thousands of iterations, choosing the right learning algorithms, tuning the hyperparameters, picking up the right data sets, and so on, which kind of slows the process of getting to the final value. And last but not the least, just like for any enterprise-grade software product, you have additional challenges as well in the fields of adhering to compliance, security, audit, reliability, and availability requirements of a product. And that becomes even more difficult for machine learning because it's harder to predict things. It's harder to find a group of individuals who can make this happen. At Amazon, we have had really wonderful results with machine learning over the last many years. Right from the beginning, when there was an online bookstore, we used to make personalized recommendations for the books you can buy. That experience was very popular, and it permeated into every online experience we offered thereafter, whether be it our online shopping, Amazon Music, Amazon Video, and the list goes on. 
not just our retail business, but machine learning has had a significant impact when it comes down to our fulfillment center automation and the efficiency of our distribution and supply chain management systems. In the fulfillment centers, the robots are bringing shelves to the workers instead of workers going to the shelves. Machine learning models are being used all the time to make predictions about how quickly a bunch of items can be put together in a box, how can that box be handed over to the courier, and how can that be get to your doorstep. An extension of this is our investment into the Prime Air Initiative where we are exploring the use of drones to constantly move towards that one hour delivery goal. And it's not just these existing retail businesses of Amazon, but machine learning has helped reinvent and recreate entirely new businesses. For instance, the Amazon Alexa voice experience has permeated into our living rooms and conference rooms all around us. And also, we have offered a complete cashierless checkout experience at the Amazon Go retail stores, which speaks to how effective these techniques can be. So what does this mean for you? All this expertise that Amazon has accumulated over time, at AWS, we believe we want to put this in the hands of every developer and data scientist on the planet. And in order to democratize machine learning, which is what our mission is, we need to tackle those challenges that I spoke about at the beginning of this presentation. So let's take a look over the next few slides. How can we put those challenges one by one? So the first challenge, how do we address the shortage of expertise in this specialized domain? Well, one of the ways to do that would be to create a set of tools that are easy to use and can be used with minimal expertise. If you look at the way our AI services have been designed, they are all an encapsulation of all the experience, expertise, and data that we have gathered over the years, created models, and provided to you in an easy to use interface which you can use without much machine learning experience. So customers have been using the Amazon recognition and our visual recognition and perception services to detect individuals, identify celebrities, identify objects, scenes, activities from both images and video files. Our language and speech services, they have been used to revolutionize the contact center experience at scale. So think about all these calls, the huge volume of calls that come to the contact centers Using services such as Amazon Transcribe, you can transcribe them in a cost-effective, accurate way to text. This text can be in multiple different languages because your customers can be spread all across the globe. So you can use Amazon Translate to take all this text in multiple different languages and put them into a lowest common denominator. Then, once you have this corpus of text, very rich customer data, what do you do with this? You can use services like Amazon Comprehend to do natural language processing, to understand things like the words which have been spoken, the phrases which have been spoken about your brand, about your product, about your service. What has been the general customer sentiment? Do they like it? Do they want to see any difference? Using all these rich insights, you can then complete that entire feedback loop and design appropriate responses. If you look at our chatbot services, they have been used by the customers to create very new customer experiences where most frequently asked questions can be answered effectively and quickly. Now, if you are an expert who really wants to build their own model because they have the data and they also have the in-house expertise and they are looking to solve a very, very specific problem, then we have Amazon SageMaker, which is our service for helping you build, train, tune, and deploy machine learning models at any scale. So think about whether you have to train models in a distributed way over multiple compute instances in the cloud, or you have to stand up an inference endpoint which can scale dynamically to address the varying demands of your business. All of that heavy lifting of the underlying infrastructure is taken care of by Amazon SageMaker, giving you time and resources and budget to focus on things that you are really good at doing which is to solve the business problem at hand. And all of these services, they rest upon a very strong foundation of the deep learning frameworks and hardware, which is custom made and purpose built for doing machine learning in a secure and scalable way. So 
the way to address the challenge of the shortage of expertise is to create the tools and services which are easy to use and does not require much experience. Now, over to the next one. How do we bridge organizational silos? If you remember, what I meant here was, how do you bridge the connection between the data science organization and the rest of the enterprise, especially DevOps? Because that will help accelerate the deployment of machine learning solutions into production. One of the ways that you can do that is by creating a common tool set and vocabulary which can be shared between the two communities. Amazon SageMaker does this by taking the most popularly used DevOps tools and adapting them into the SageMaker service, giving an interface which is user-friendly for data scientists. And here are a few examples. So Docker is our main execution unit in SageMaker. Whether you are packaging your code for training the models, or you are planning to host an inference endpoint both for real-time inference as well as batch inference, at every single stage, Docker is the unit of execution, and it's a pretty popular tool among DevOps. Similarly, we also offer, starting yesterday, the GitHub collaboration for Jupyter Notebooks, which means the same tool, the GitHub tool, which the DevOps community has been using for long for version control, code reviews, collaboration as a persistent storage, that tool is now available in a very user-friendly format for data scientists to manage their notebooks. Also, SageMaker offers connectors for all the workflow solutions. For example, Apache Workflow, uh, the Apache Airflow, the step functions, and CloudFormation. Using these tools, data scientists can now express the entire end-to-end -end machine learning workflow in an easily reproducible and collaboration-friendly format. And lastly, all the standard DevOps tool set used for monitoring the application, collecting metrics, and auditing all the actions, like Amazon CloudWatch metrics, CloudTrail, they are integrated out of the box into Amazon SageMaker. So, how do we bridge silos? By creating a common set of tools and vocabulary through which data scientists can communicate with the DevOps community, making sure those tools are adopted in a user-friendly way and purpose-built for the end user. Now let's look at the third challenge. How do we help organizations move faster and realize the value behind machine learning? As I said before, machine learning is an iterative process. As the popular saying goes, you have to learn to do machine learning. You have to go through thousands of iterations, and the way to accelerate these iterations will be to make sure that all the repeatable tasks that you need to do for every iteration, those are taken care of by the platform. And you are now left with time, energy, and resources to focus on solving just the problem at hand. Amazon SageMaker does this in many ways. Let's look at some of them. So for building new models and exploring your data, Amazon SageMaker gives you a managed Jupyter Notebook service which means through a single click, you can bring up a Jupyter Notebook interface, start exploring your data, and authoring your models. You don't really have to manage setting up a compute machine, setting up a Jupyter Notebook server, and setting up a security parameter around it. All of that is taken care of under the hoods. When it comes down to training the model, it's a single API call using which you can train models in a distributed way in SageMaker. Think of it, all the heavy lifting that you need to do to train models, which includes bringing up a cluster of compute machines, sourcing the data from data lakes such as S3 to the machine, distributing the data across the nodes, training the model through multiple epochs, pushing out your final model artifacts into the data storage of your choice, and then tearing down the entire cluster, all of that happens behind the single API call. Similarly, when you have to set up an inference endpoint, there are again a bunch of repeatable tasks, which includes bringing up machines on top of which you host this endpoint, making sure they are behind an auto-scaling group 
so that they can respond to the changes in the traffic as your business demand changes, and they will provide a secure and scalable endpoint. In SageMaker, it's a couple of clicks on console or a single API call through which you can stand up a production-grade, secure, and scalable endpoint. And everything that I just described just happens under the hood. So how do we help organizations move faster? By taking off all the heavy lifting of the underlying infrastructure. You don't care, care of any of these machines and scalability. All of that has been taken care of. You focus on building the models and solving the problem. Now, last but not the least, the challenge of addressing the non-functional requirements around security, compliance, audit, and reliability. At AWS, we have a shared model when it comes down to meeting the compliance and security standards, which means AWS takes care of securing the cloud right from the security of the underlying hardware, networking, storage, even the security of the physical data centers. And our customers are responsible for building secure applications on top of cloud. In SageMaker, we have been very proactive in collecting the customer requirements, understanding their needs around security, and we have come a long way in last one year. We offer encryption of data at both rest and in motion. We offer, you can conduct your entire end-to-end -end machine learning workflow right from building to training to deploying in your own private virtual cloud. Similarly, for portability, as I said in the beginning, the fundamental execution unit inside SageMaker is a Docker container. And we have taken a bunch of our first party algorithms, our optimized deep learning framework containers, and we have open sourced them. So you are free to take those containers, port them, and run them elsewhere if you want. So by mutually sharing this responsibility, we are able to attack the problem of all the non-functional requirements that any enterprise-grade software product has to adhere to. Yeah. Well, there is currently, of course, there is no way to export a comprehend model into SageMaker. But ever since the beginning of SageMaker, we have always offered a way to bring your own algorithms. So if you have very specialized data on which you want to train, kind of train a natural language processing model, you're always welcome to package it as a Docker container and still be able to leverage all the benefits that Amazon SageMaker brings. So for example, you can still bring the Docker register to ECR, the AWS ECR, the container registry. And that's the only step you need to do. And thereafter, every step of the process within SageMaker is same, whether you are using a first party container or your own. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Hope you have a great win.